When you think out to 2050, I think it's an extraordinary statistic that technology has the potential to unlock of the order of one and a half to two trillion barrels equivalent. And that's about the volume of oil and gas resources that have been produced to date. So tremendous opportunity if it can be made economic. Well, we know technology can really transform the cost competitiveness. Look at unconventional uh, gas and tight oil. And you think about it as a, a sort of a cost curve where you stack up each of the resource classes next to each other in terms of the cost per barrel equivalent. The question then becomes, can you shift different resource classes around? Large-scale, repetitive operations lend themselves to continuous improvement. But the more ad hoc operations, deep water, Arctic, those are very important. But to make those move up and down the cost curve, you need more of a game changer, step change in approach. We think that we can achieve 25% reduction in costs in automation, in engineering, and through digital. And that can really have a huge impact on some of the higher cost resources. Both high and low oil price can actually stimulate innovation in different ways. So if you think about low oil price, the focus then becomes on uh, reducing costs, thinking about efficiency in your operations. So the types of technologies then that become interesting are those which help to automate processes, reduce maintenance costs, reduce the number of man hours involved in operations, also increase the reliability. And then in a higher oil price environment, the focus becomes more on growth and access to resources. So seismic technologies which help you more efficiently find resources that you couldn't find before. Thinking 30 years out, that's quite a long time. A lot of things can happen in the technology world. But what are the capabilities that we already know about? Unlocking resources through seismic and, and, other, and other mechanisms. That would be one area. We've seen that with unconventionals. Maybe we could do something similar with uh, gas hydrates and thereby unlock a huge new resource. And then there's going to be things that we don't know about. There are vast resources in heavy oil which could be unlocked, for example, if you could somehow make the oil more movable such as with in-situ or downhole um, upgrading. If I was to pick a technology class that really stands out that can make an impact, I would definitely pick digital technologies. And I mean the big data analytics, uh, automation, uh, centralised control for operations. If you think about the impact, particularly on making operations more efficient and reducing costs, that's one that really is applicable everywhere. So for the industry as a whole, digital is absolutely the number one.